What is the author's attitude towards the theories suggesting stage models of grief? As per the mind map, the first paragraph introduces several theories about how individuals respond to grief and the second paragraph suggests and addresses the criticism received by these theories. So overall, it can be inferred that the author defends the theories against criticism. So we need an answer choice on similar lines. Let's look at the answer choices. Answer choice A. The author considers these theories plausible. The first paragraph talks about several phases through which a grieving person goes through and the second paragraph talks about several concerns raised against these theories. In that context, one of the criticisms received by these theories is the idea that the grieving individual must progress through these stages. The passage subsequently states that the authors of these various models did not make this assumption. Also, the passage talks about another criticism that deals with whether the grieving individual returns to a more normal psychological state. On this point, the passage says that further examination of theories is necessary. So overall, it can be inferred that the second paragraph talks about the criticisms or concerns related to the stage model of theories and the passage addresses these concerns either by refuting as it does in the first criticism or by suggesting that further examination is needed. Overall, the passage does not rule out these theories and it is correct to state that the author considers these theories plausible. A good answer choice. Let's keep this on hold. Answer choice B. The author finds the stages to be predictable. The second paragraph mentions that the way grief is expressed, the timing and the sequence of stages, the duration for which grief lasts and the coping responses, all these factors are varied. So it can be inferred that the author does not believe that the stages are predictable. So this answer choice contradicts the passage. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice C. The author questions the chronological nature of the recovery. In the context of the concerns raised against these theories, the passage says that there is a misconception that the stages of grief are linear and one must progress through these stages. The passage responds to this criticism by stating that the authors of the various models did not make this assumption. So it can be inferred that it is the critiques that question the chronological nature of the recovery and the author simply addresses that criticism. And it is incorrect to state that it is the author who questions the chronological nature of the recovery. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice B. The author is convinced that a final state of normalcy exists. In the second paragraph, the passage discusses the concern related to whether there is a normal psychological state and the passage says that further examination is necessary. So it cannot be established that the author is convinced that such a final state exists. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice E. The author finds differences among the various stage models. The first paragraph refers to several theories that talk about the phases of grief such as that offered by Bowlby and those by others as well as a recent theory. However, the passage makes no comparison among these theories. So it is incorrect to state that the author finds differences among these theories. So this answer choice can be eliminated. A is the correct answer choice.